Another inspired effort by a team dealing with heartache and uncertainty. Before Catholic Central tipped off its regional game against Unity Christian, Colleen Lamarotate, their coach, opened a letter from the family of teammate Mary Lafier that said win. It took a while for the Cougars to get going, but once they did, they would not be denied. A moment of silence for Mary Lafier, who was injured uh, critically in that car crash over the weekend. Team had the initials on the armband. And they come out, uh, it was a tight game against Unity Christian. Taisa Stokes put him up by three. Unity keeps it close. Baseline, Abby Vanderwood lay in it with a one-point game in the third quarter. But in the fourth, the Cougars get hot, and they blow it open. Alex Heffron to Eliza Dilworth, 50-32 to the final. And the Cougars win this game just like the Mary's family had wished they would. That's the second time they've been on the floor without her. Yesterday practice and tonight. So I think it took time to process it. It felt weird. So, you know, like anything, once they got rolling, then we started getting our game back. So Catholic Central then awaited the winner of the Holland Christian Grand Rapids Christian game. That was the other semifinal out at Allegan tonight. Late first quarter, Kia Frazier to Kyra Smith. Top side three, and the Eagles were up by five. Then a good ball movement. Bethany Bates to Catherine Hillbrand to Katie Vanderweide. Streaking to the hoop. Off glass and in. Christian High wins it. Final score, 43-28. to 28. Next stop, Mona Shores High School for regional semifinal between Grand Haven and Marquette. Marquette made the long trip down, but I mean, she hit that shot from Marquette. Alyssa Lindenberg, long three, Marquette up 19 to 11. Later in the quarter, Grand Haven, Sheree Davis drives the lane, hits the runner, starting to cut into that lead. Third quarter, Marquette was up by six. Cassie Hallwarda gives it to Alex Law for the three, nothing but net. It's a three-point game. Still in the third, Grand Haven starts to make the big run. Going to take a lead right here. Abby Cole in the lane and scores. Grand Haven goes on to win 44-38. to In Class C, it's Morley Stanwood versus Muskegon Oak Ridge. The Mohawks undefeated, and they were unbelievable on this night. Bailey Carinduff going to hit the three-pointer. Sparks a 29-1 run. And off the turnover, Alexis Hunty. Ahead to Elise Stark. She's going to go into the hoop. They were up 25 to 4 at the half. And then they extend that lead in the third quarter. Trisha Smith, nice bounce pass to Alyssa Nelson. Morley Stanwood wins it 50 to 17. The boys' districts continue tomorrow. And because of all the local and national interest in Fenville and what the Blackhawks are going through with the recent loss of teammate Wes Leonard, Fenville's game against Bangor has been moved to DeVos Fieldhouse in Holland. Fenville beat Lawrence at DeVos last night in front of 3,500 fans. That game will tip off at 7 o'clock.